All right, let's look at this uh, factorization question here. What you have is uh, you have another quadratic expression, but in this question, you can see that the uh, x squared term is not one, uh, coefficient is not one anymore, it's three, and uh, we have a constant of negative 24. All right, so if I were to draw the cross, uh, use the cross method approach, okay, what you will get is you draw the cross. And uh, what we want is, for the first column, we want to be able to hit 3x squared. For the second column, we want to achieve negative 24. And the uh, last column, we want a negative 6x here. Alright, now, what we need to do is, uh, as we saw in the earlier question as well, we need to be uh, looking at the possible combinations to achieve this three uh, different, uh, these first two different numbers here. Okay, so for three, uh, uh, it's quite simple because we only have one possible combination, which is uh, one times three to give us three. Right, so we know that here is going to be a x and the, the other term is going to be three x. So whichever way you write is fine, three x and x or x and three x is fine. So x times three x is going to give me three x squared. Now for 24, Okay, to get negative 24, let's just focus on 24 first. We have a few combinations. 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. Okay, so we have four possible combinations that will give us a result of 24. Alright, and what we want is we want to put a combination here such that after we do the cross, okay, we can achieve a result of negative 6 over here. Okay, so it is not uh, so straightforward sometimes. You need to try out and see the answers. If not, uh, of course, if you don't get the minus 6x over here, then you need to try a new combination. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and try uh, one set of numbers and see what we get. Let's just say I start with 1 times 24. All right, so if I put uh, maybe one here and I put a 24 here, what will I get? I'll get 3x and I get 24x, okay? Uh, of course, here we know that one of it has to be a negative, one and 24, one, and one of it has to be a negative to hit negative 24. But that aside, uh, just looking at these two numbers, okay, 3x and 24x, uh, there is no possible combination, okay, that can give me a negative six. So even if I put a negative here, or I put a negative here, uh, whichever combination I look at, I'm not going to get negative 6, correct? So we know that this is definitely not a valid option, okay? So let me uh, erase this. Okay, now let's look at another combination here. All right, uh, how about uh, 12 and 2, correct? Now, if I were to put... 12 and 2 here, alright, you will see that I will get uh, 24 here, okay, uh, we will look at the negative later, but 12 times 3, I will get 36, x and 2 and x, I will get 2x, okay, so again, you see that there is no possible combination, okay, for 36 and 2 to give me a negative 6, alright, but, okay, another important point you must note is, the positioning of the numbers here also plays an important role because we are doing the cross here, uh, the, the cross multiply approach here. So this is example is, is good for us to see the effect of this positioning. Now, 12 and 2 definitely does not work in this context. But, okay, if you want to change the positions, okay, so let me erase this. And now I'm going to put 12 here and 2 over here. Now, what do you see? Okay, now what you see is 3 times 2, I get 6x, and 12 times x times 12, I get 12x. Ah, now you can see that actually 6 and 12 can give me a negative 6 because if 6 subtract 12, I get negative 6, which means that if I put a negative here, I get a, I must put a negative here. And now you see that everything falls in place x times 3x, I get 3x squared, 2 times negative 12, I get negative 24, 6 plus minus 12x, okay, 
I get negative 6x. All right, so with that, you can see that this is going to be the first factor and this is going to be the second factor. All right, so I'm going to write it out here, x plus 2 and 3x minus 12. Okay, and of course, we can always uh, verify by doing a expansion. So x into 3x will give me 3x squared. x into negative 12 will be negative 12x. 2 into 3x will be plus 6x. And uh, 2 into negative 12 will be negative 24. Okay, so if I simplify it, 3x squared, negative 6x negative 24. Okay, so I hope that this uh, has given you a, a better view of how to approach the factorization with the cross method. Okay, like I said, importantly, you need to look at all the possible combinations okay, of uh, values over here. And of course, you also need to look at the positioning of these combinations. Okay, to see which position, uh, positioning gives you the results here that can uh, give you the required x term value that you are looking for. Alright, so please have a try and see for yourself. Alright, thank you. Bye.